Hello, today I'm gonna discuss benzene metabolism. It's very important because benzene metabolites can be very toxic to human. First of all, benzene metabolism occurs primarily in the liver and through phase 1 metabolism which is carried by CYP2E1 it is converted into benzene oxide and this benzene oxide can be detoxified through glutathione conjugate or it uh, or then it can convert it into s phenylmercapturic acid which is written as spma and then the benzene oxide can convert into oxypin and then muconic acid through sip cytochrome p450 so this muconic acid and spma these are the indicators of benzene exposure so if we are gonna measure the benzene exposure then we can measure the levels of muconic acid and spma in urine you can take the urine samples and this benzene oxide uh, rearranges itself to phenol or through epoxide hydrolase it can hydrolyze into dihydrodiol which can convert into catechol and this catechol can released or excreted as glucuronide or sulfate conjugate while this phenol converts into hydroquinone through sip to e1 this is phase one metabolism and this hydroquinone this is really important because once it is converted into benzoquinone, uh, benzoquinone it generates reactive oxygen species through redox cycling and this ROS is really important for toxicity because it can cause lipid peroxidation it can react with proteins and it can react with nucleic acids like DNA to cause mutations. So this ben benzoquinone, this is this can be toxic metabolite um, to human in the liver cells or hepatocytes. While this hydroquinone or one to four dihydroxybenzene, they can uh, release or excreted as sulfate and glucuronide conjugates so these are these become non-toxic while this benzoquinone this is the toxic metabolite 